That decision is not sitting well with many parents around Rochester. Some have been protesting to get their kids back to in-person learning full time. Uba Ali uh, spoke to some of them while also hearing from the teachers union president. My biggest priority for my children is both their happiness and their education. And right now we don't have either one. Jessica Cruz is a mother of children ages seven and five. She says it's been so difficult that she's had to look outside of Rochester for her kids' education. I actually s submitted an application this morning for my children to open enroll in another district starting next year. And she's not the only mother feeling this way. Ramifications of the decisions being made by the school board are are going to be traumatic for both the children and the families who are having to go through this. They think they can't do anything right, and it's the school system that's failing them. Rochester Education Association President Daniel Coleman says he understands how hard this has been on parents. I feel like right now that pause button is fine. Um, it, it isn't by any stretch of the imagination. It is not easy. The school board is failing to see that you know, they, they're bringing up this topic of, of CDC guidelines and safety, but they're, they're failing to see the bigger picture, which is the mental health and the well-being of our students. Coleman says he wants parents to know that teachers also want to be in the classroom, but it really comes down to the safety of all involved. I know it looks like we're protecting adults, but if we don't have teachers that can teach, then we're going to end up with a problem in the backside of it. The kids above all else need to be back in school. They need the support of teachers. In Rochester, Uba Ali, KTTC News.